Good morning, Year 6, and welcome to our next home learning lesson. We will begin today's lesson with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O oh my God, you love me. You're with me night and day. I want to love you always, in all I do and say. I will try to please you, Father. Bless me through this day. Amen. Today's learning objective is to write the ending of my story. Today you will be writing the ending to your sequel of the story The Promise by Nicola Davies. I want you to think about this question. What kind of ending will your story have? Whilst thinking about that question, think about these types of story endings. You could have an ending with a twist, an ending that solves all the story's problems, or an ending that is open-ended and that could continue. Time for your first quick task. Look back at your story plan and see what type of ending you have chosen. Does this ending need tweaking to make it more interesting. If it does, make sure you make adjustments now. Here are some different types of story endings that you may want to use. We have the tr traditional and they all lived happily ever after. We have an ending that wraps everything up and that was the end of that. We have an ending that could leave it a little bit open. The boy ran away as fast as his legs would carry him and was never seen again. Maybe the sequel looks into where that person has run away to. Then we have, with the glowing sun setting over the hills, he settled down to sleep after their big adventure. This shows that the story has ended as the adventure has ended. You may also choose to use endings like this. It was all just a dream, or was it? And that was the end of that. As far as I know, they are still there to this very day. Tired, she closed her eyes and slowly drifted off to sleep. Or you may choose to use endings like this. Before it disappeared completely. Well, wouldn't you? What a day that was. And they never did that again. These are all different types of story endings that you could choose to use in your story today, or you may choose to create one of your own. Your ending needs to ensure that the reader understands the moral to your story. Go back to your plan and think about what was the moral to your story. Before you start writing your story today, I want you to consider these questions. How will you ensure the reader understands the moral of your story? Does this story continue the legacy of the story The Promise? And what kind of story ending will you have? Before you start writing the ending of your story, to make sure that this sequel continues the legacy, I think it's important that we hear the ending to the story The Promise by Nicola Davies again. Green spread through the city like a song, breathing to the sky, drawing down the rain like a blessing. 
but by then I was already far away, planting in another sad and sorry city. And another. And another. And another. And last night, in a lonely alley, a young thief fought me for my sack of acorns. I smiled and made an old bargain, now knowing how a heart can change, knowing that my planting will go on. That's the end of the story, The Promise, by Nicola Davies. Illustrated by Laura Carlin. Time for today's main task. In this final lesson, I would like you to finish writing your story and make sure you use all of the writing tools we have practiced using in this home learning unit. To make sure you use all of the writing tools that we've learned in this unit, you must follow these success criteria. I'd like you to use a range of subordinate conjunctions. Make sure that your sentences have subordinate clauses that add detail. You always use past tense verbs. Use a range of expanded noun phrases. Use figurative language and fronted adverbials. Remember, you can use this page to support you when creating expanded noun phrases. And also, this high-level vocabulary to describe settings will help you. Here are 10 of the most common subordinate conjunctions. They are used at the beginning of subordinate clauses, which is a clause that doesn't make sense on its own. They are if, since, as, when, although, while, after, before, until, because. And remember, I saw a wabab. That's a great way of remembering these subordinate conjunctions. And we've discussed that in class before. You can also use this conjunction and other connective devices sheet to help you as well. We have opposition. We have ref reinforcing and addition, explaining and listing, cause and effect and time. These are all different connective devices, including conjunctions. You can also use this fronted adverbial sheet as well to support you. These are broken down into time, frequency, place, manner and possibility. So remember, your main task today is to finish writing your story and make sure you use all of the writing tools we have practiced using in this home learning unit. And if you follow this set of success criteria, you will make sure that you would have written a successful story ending. So remember, use a range of subordinate conjunctions, subordinate clauses to add detail, past tense verbs, expanded noun phrases, figurative language, and fronted adverbials. Make sure when you have finally finished your story that you check back the beginning, the middle, and the end, and see if you've completed all of these success criteria within all of your story. Because remember, editing and improving your story is also very, very important. Well done Year 6, that's the end of today's lesson and I will see you tomorrow where we will be starting a brand new book.